Hi friends, I'm Brian Cosby, this is Pride and Protect, and today I want to take you on a tour of my shop. A couple years ago I was able to build this barn and use one of the bays as the size of a single car garage and turn that into what I think is a very helpful and functional practical uh, shop for my everyday projects here around the homestead, so let's get into it. So when I was a boy growing up, I used to go to my grandfather's shop a lot and I would use his tools and it was just one of my favorite things to do. I could just explore and it encouraged the creativity in me. It uh, allowed me to experiment with projects and tools and it's so fun. I just love those memories. And now that I've got two boys and they are out here all the time with me doing projects, learning how to use the tools, why you'd use uh, different tools for different jobs. And so this space has become just a, a wonderful space uh, for my family. And it's just been so helpful and, and practical. And so what I want to do is just share why I've set the shop up the way I have. And uh, maybe it gives you some ideas. Or uh, if you have better ideas, I'd love to hear them. I can drop them down below and uh, would love to hear your thoughts as well. So I'm going to just kind of walk around the shop. Again, this is a, this is a barn. Uh, that I built uh, with my boys a couple years ago. But part of the reason that, that some of these things uh, are kind of portable that you'll see is that I can take them out outside uh, the, the barn door here and just easily you know, do that out there and not get sawdust everywhere. And I don't have a dust collection system uh, in here, maybe something in the future, but typically I don't do fine woodworking like furniture, um, that kind of thing. It's mainly just projects that I'm doing to in improve with it, with, whether it's with the animals like the goats or chickens, uh, we're building something, a shed, something like that. So it's more of construction type uh, projects that I typically do here around the homestead. But I, I do have an air compressor here. I have another video on, on this system, but love this uh, quiet air compressor. I'll put a link uh, down in the description below. Very quiet, it's just got this hose running up and then my DeWalt air compressor. Uh, that's retractable, love that. Uh, again, I've got a video on that. I get to pull that out, do projects with uh, nail guns or uh, you know, if I need to fill up a tire or something like that. So moving on, I did get these kind of a Husky set. Can't remember, maybe Home Depot or one of those big box stores. Uh, and they've actually done well. I've really enjoyed having these. <laughs> always need a first aid kit got some music this is just a Bluetooth speaker that I love put these surge protectors uh, in just got some basic tools I can quickly grab up here on a pegboard I we'll have another video on on hammers love that hammer we'll talk more about that in another video everybody needs a vice these kind of soft clamps have been damaged wood we do have uh, some of these uh, some clamps around you always need clamps here's my battery charging area and you'll notice I have a lot of DeWalt stuff. There's all kinds of good brands out there. I've gone with DeWalt um, because that's what I used when I was in uh, high school and college. And, um, and if you go with any brand, it's just good to go with a lot of them of the same kind so that you can just interchange the batteries. I've got a battery bag here, all kinds of batteries. I have a video on this bag. This is my go anywhere bag. So when I'm doing a project across the other side of the property or pasture, I'll put this in the back of the four wheeler or the side by side and just take that take that with me. Eyes and ears, gloves, shop towels. I do have some space, some storage on top, which again, uh, a lot of storage. And these are great shelves. Again, I'll try to put links to this stuff uh, down below. Just some other, other odds and ends up here, different uh, drill bits and stuff like that. So my air, air compressor stuff, nail guns, saws, different, uh, kinds of saws and why you might want a, a smaller one if you're up on a wrap on rafters this has been very helpful love this warm drive uh, skill saw right here by the way yeah they're just kind of miscellaneous miscellaneous tools down there below belt sander uh, different saw blades uh, up here and uh, oh yeah I've got uh, got some of my welding equipment uh, in there in that bin so I need to weld I can do that 
Uh, we've made some Kydex sheets. So I've got all my Kydex press and uh, for, for making Kydex stuff over there. Got chisels, all kinds of different assorted hammers here. And then just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Obviously got to have a good supply of WD-40 and glue. And then this tape and miscellaneous stuff uh, down, down there. Here's some of my, my kids' shelves, my boys. And then here's nails and screws. Uh, I love having just a various assortment of nails and screws. Don't ever throw your extra screws or nails away. Um, I, I typically just have a, a bin here of, of screws and washers uh, up here. And of course, just having shelves, these kinds of shelves. And uh, I'll try to put a, a link for these shelves down below um, as well. But I uh, love having a heater in here for the, I don't take that tag off just because it has some instructions on it. Um, propane heater for this space. Got some uh, other basic tools, drill press and bandsaw. Uh, again, these are not top of the line, but they're functional and, and they, work, they work for me. I love this DeWalt kind of welding portable table. Uh, I I've actually have a whole video on that as well. And what I'll do is I'll take that um, use it here or I'll take it out uh, outside and if I need to do work out, outside I can easily do that. It collapses, goes up and down. Generator for various purposes, the Walt saw, um, kind of miter saw. I, again, if I want to do a lot of cutting, I can just roll that right out. And by the way, I have a retractable uh, three prong uh, kind of extension cord here and I think, it, I think both that and the air compressor are both 50 feet. And so I can just pull that outside and, you know, use my different, different saws and tools from outside. So that's, that's the setup. Oh yeah. I didn't tell you about, uh, about this, the Schoberg's, uh, I, I love this table, this work table, uh, workbench. Um, I did put these casters on the bottom because I love rolling this around and moving it. And it's super easy. I can just quickly, you know, it just rolls around. And so I got these casters, um, from Woodcraft, put those on and I can lock them down and make it stable too. But you got these kind of bench dogs here and so you can clamp, clamp stuff, a few different clamps. So this was one of the bigger investments. So that was a, a basic overview of the shop, the tools that are in here. And again, I'll try to leave links for some of the key items uh, down below, but we'll try to circle back around and look at some of the particular tools uh, in future videos. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. If you've not already done so, please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you and your support. We'll see you on the next video.